Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It is Jean Watts. I did a Barbie doll look and the sponsor today is no other than Sephora. <laughs> Love Sephora. So all these products that I use are all available at Sephora. I will link everything below. And if you guys haven't already, sign up to become a Sephora Beauty Insider and you guys will get emails of points and discounts and all the good stuff. There's three tiers. There's Rouge members, VIP members, and the Beauty Insiders. So yeah, um, I did not practice this look at all. I definitely did this on the go. I didn't do half of the things that I ended up doing. Um, but yeah, okay. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I am gonna start off by putting my hair just a little out of my face. Okay, so on my face right now, I have Tatcha's The Water Cream. I love this stuff. It just feels so good. It's pore refining. Love the pore refining. Now I'm going to prep my skin by using Glow Recipe, the Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. Put that on for my eyes. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to like do things with my eyes with my nails, especially since I'm not as used to them. So for primer, I am going to use Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. Okay. I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter in three, fair. I have been seeing this stuff everywhere and I never tried it and I finally caved in and I understand the hype. It's so good. I just love that stuff. It makes your skin look so good, even just like this. Okay, so now for foundation, I am going in with my OG favorite foundation, I think, I'm pretty sure, but it's Armani, um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 6.25. And I am gonna apply this everywhere. And I'm also gonna put a little on my neck because I want this all to match. And then I'm taking my damp beauty blender. And if you don't know what that means, you just take your beauty blender and you put it under like, you know, running water and you pump it until it's damp. Not soaking wet, but damp. And I'm just gonna tap. My lips are just so dry. I have Hourglass. I'm gonna be using a lot of products this video, so warning. <laughs> but they're all amazing. So if you wanna know the best, these are all the best. Um, but this is Hourglass. Uh, I don't know what they call this, but it's kind of like this lip oil. It looks like a lip gloss, but, and it's in Slip 125. And I love it. Makes my lips feel really good. It has just a little bit of life to them too. Dab that in. I'm going in with concealer. I'm gonna use Kosas Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. And I'm using 33.5 W. And I want the skin to look super plasticky. So I'm gonna use a lot. And that's also why I like the Giorgio Armani foundation, just cause you can apply it. It's like medium coverage, but you can build it to be thicker. I'm actually gonna go in with some covering, some blemishes that I have. I wanna do a lot here. So I'm gonna do the rest of my face a little later because I haven't practiced the eye I'm gonna do. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do. So if I have to kind of take it off and redo it, it's not like I have to start everything all over again. So I am going to start, um, I am gonna put some uh, translucent setting powder. 
to kind of prevent that any if anything does fall from my eyeshadow that I can easily clean it up. And I'm using Hourglass uh, setting powder and veal, and I want to put a lot. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyebrows now. So I'm gonna brush these up. And I'm going to start with my Patrick Ta um, eyebrow defining pencil in blonde. And I am gonna do blonde on a target here. Okay, so I used his color shade blonde. I like doing blonde like here and then going darker on the ends. So I'm going in now with Patrick Ta's eyebrow pencil in a light brown. So I got my eyebrows done. I used the blonde hair, a little bit of darker on the ends. And now I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, her, what's this called? Brow freeze. I'm gonna take the side of Patrick Ta's spoolie. Get some product on there. And lock these. I have been, you, you guys kind of saw it in my, um, my vampire video that I shave my eyes, but I've been kind of doing that a lot lately. So I'm going to show you kind of how I do that. My mom always tells me, she's like, don't pluck your eyebrows. She's like, at some point they stop growing back. So I've been really loving the idea of shaving them. They do grow back super fast, but at least I'm not ruining my hair follicles if I want to keep my eyebrows a little bit more bushier or thinner. I can do it. I can do anything I want by just shaving them without paying any price. <laughs> okay, I think I like my eyebrows. I don't know. We're going to find out. I am going to put some concealer on my eyelids because I want to shape them a bit more. Okay, and I'm just taking a brush like this. This is from Marc Jacobs. Patting them with powder. Okay, let's begin the eye look. I'm just gonna leave my eyebrows for now. So I got this palette from Sephora and it's called Violet Voss Butterfly Kisses. And it has all these really fun colors. So I am gonna go and have a field day with these. So the way I'm gonna start this, I'm gonna start. Going back to this, I am going to start with this color right here, Enjoy, and I'm going to go up here, it's a really pretty color. I'm going to do the other side. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of product off, I'm going to go in with this lighter color Kiss Kiss right here, and just use it to shade. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this really fun color right here, this pink, and it's in wild. And I'm taking a smaller brush like this so I have a little bit of more control. But I just wanna go a little closer to the crease because we are doing a cut crease today. Okay, so I got the pink, and now I'm going in with Kosas Concealer in the shade 3W. It's a bit lighter than the concealer I used under my eyes. And I'm just gonna put the concealer on my hand, like so. And then I'm taking a really tight brush like this. And ah, I haven't done concrete since you guys saw me do it in the last video, which I think was the diamond eye one. I never used this concealer for a cut crease and it's perfect. It's like perfectly creamy, easily glides on. Okay, I like that so far. 
I actually might go a little more rounder. And what I mean by rounder is right here. I might pick it up just a little bit more. Hmm, yes. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, the perfectionist in me took a while to try to make the match. <laughs> love using that concealer for a cut crease but i'm just gonna go in with like a fluffy brush like this from iconic london and going in with my setting powder and i'm just gonna set what i just did i want it to be super easy to blend the eyeshadow i'm about to put on okay so this is the part that i have no idea what i'm going to do so i'm really winging it so i i love this palette so much I got my Pat McGrath. Oh my gosh, the packaging on this is out of control. And this beautiful, beautiful palette right here. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this one. And I'm just gonna get some product on there. And it's got a really pretty, oh, it's really pretty. I'm gonna put some glitter right here. I can see why this is so expensive, it's so, Good. All right, I'm gonna go in with this one right here. And I'm gonna go in the middle. Okay, I like it. I like it. And I'm gonna take this one right here that I've been using and I'm gonna extend it all the way out. We're going full Barbie, so we're not afraid of glitter. Okay, fuck okay. it. We're just gonna do it. So now that I have some of the glitter there, I'm gonna go in with this color in Beauty. And I am going to go here and up. I'm gonna extend it a little more this way. So it's kind of like fading more here and more inner. I might add more. I'm starting small, easing my way in. I want to go in with this blue, this blue moon right here. And, ooh, that's really pretty. I'm gonna make this line, even though I'm about to put a black liner there. I'm just starting small. I'm going in with a brush like this. I'm gonna go in with this blue, blue moon. And I wanna kind of line where the crease is very lightly. All right, I went across the entire, I kind of faded it, it's light there and it gets a little thicker throughout. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with this beauty right here and I can kind of color the go in a little deeper with this okay I took this purple ember right here and I kind of put it a little bit on top of this pink because the pink I put on is like a matte pink and this is a purple sparkle and very Barbie and I like it looks good how pretty is that? I'm gonna add, I'm gonna take in this little white little here called Transform. It's got a bit of a green sparkle to it. And I'm gonna put it, oh yeah, in my inner corner. Yep. You see how the blue fell? This is why we didn't do the full face yet. Okay. So I'm gonna take my Lancome Idol ultra precise waterproof liner and I'm going to do the typical cat eye that I always do which I start here okay I did it I did this this eye it turned out really good because I didn't do it on my screen but obviously I you know start here continue it really thin here. Well, depending on your eye shape, it could be totally different. But for me and for my type of eyelids, I go really thin here. I go a little thicker here and obviously just like super thick there and try to make it straight. Don't be afraid of taking it too long. You're a Barbie, doesn't matter. Um, but let 
which is not good. Okay, let me do the other eye. Okay, I did my liner. So now I wanna do something and I really hope that I don't regret it. I'm debating if I should do it. Okay, I kinda wanna go in with this black here. I'm taking this angled skinny brush right here from Iconic London. Oh, I hope I don't regret this. Okay, what I wanna do is I wanna take, I kinda wanna line where my cut crease is. Should I do this? I don't know. I'm gonna wait until the end. I'm too afraid. We're gonna wait until the end. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay. Look how pretty all this is. It looks like it's like glowing. I love it. Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this eye off camera so I don't mess it up. And hopefully it'll look really good. Okay. I like it. I'm glad I did it. <laughs> I was like, I really don't want to take this off and do it all over again. Okay, so what I did is I took, you know, this little skinny brush right here, went in with the black here, and I didn't go just directly in the line. I don't want to take up any more space from the blue. I'm definitely okay with taking more space up of the pink. So I go where the pink ends, if that makes any sense. So I slowly, I'm very lightly, let me see if I can do it on here. It's really hard to do it like that. Oh, here we go. So I'm very lightly just trying to go along Cut crease, I'm connecting the cat eye the liner to there. Again, I'm like really going light. Oh, that wasn't that smooth. Hmm. This one's gonna be messier. So I wanna blend it a bit. I don't wanna keep blending with the black. I, I, I don't wanna be too much black. So I'm taking a really tight brush like this, I'm going with the pink and this little bit of purple, and just kind of dusting with the black so it fades a bit. And just to make sure it looks even better blended, I'm going in with my Makeup by Mario Master Mattes, just this dark brown color. I'm just kind of going where I went and dusting it like I'm barely, barely doing it. So just be careful. So now that I see it like this, I can definitely add more pink, which is good. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take a brush like this, this fluffy, I don't know, angular type brush, and this pink right here. And now I can kind of go a little more farther out here. And make sure that the pink ends where the kid eye is. It's gonna look a little crazy right now um, because I'm gonna be cleaning all of this up later. Okay, I kind of wanna finish the entire top half to kind of really know what I wanna do at the bottom because I don't know if I wanna do, I have, two, I have a couple ideas of what I'm gonna do at the bottom. So I'm just gonna finish the top. So I'm gonna put some mascara on my eyelashes. I'm not really putting mascara on my eyelashes to make my eyelashes look long or anything because I'm about to put some thick ass eyelashes on. But I do want to make my eyelashes a little more um, sturdier so I can kind of hold the lash, if that makes sense. So I'm going in with Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara in black. And I don't really care about the ends. I'm focusing more on the base or by the root of your lashes. Okay, so the lashes that I got, I got, these are called So Hollywood Lashes. So usually I would cut these to kind of be a little more smaller to my eye, but because I've extended the eye outwards, I can move the eyelashes a little past my, um, where my eye naturally ends, which will give a more bigger eye effect, which is what we want. Um, I like to kind of clip a little bit of the ends if there's something sticking out. I'm gonna take my black glue and get it on these suckers. Okay, we got one lash. These look really good with this. 
I'm gonna do my other eye. Okay, I did my other eye. I'm trying to push these ones up and push this part down. By the way, I did my own nails, like the plastic tips and everything. Let me know if I should uh, do a video, even though it's like all over TikTok right now. Okay, so a bunch of shadow did fall underneath as I suspected. So I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and I'm just gonna very lightly take off what I need. Okay. Not that much. And then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and kind of tap it. Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing from here now. Now I really, okay. I'm gonna go with this white right here. And I am gonna drag it down here. And I'll open up the eye a lot. I'm gonna take this blue, light blue eye pencil. I think I wanna do this. Okay, so I just went in with a really light blue eyeliner and a white eyeliner and kind of went in with my waterline and I dragged it all the way out to here. And then I took this Urban Decay 24 hour glide on eye pencil in Roxy and it's a really pretty like royal blue eyeliner and it kind of lined right here, if you can see. Okay. I think I'm gonna go a little bit with, with this green right here. And now very lightly go underneath. Cause like I can kind of take this look as like what you would actually wear out, but I really want to make sure I stay true to like making it look like a Barbie doll. I think I'm gonna make it a little darker by going in with this brown right here and this dark brown. And then I am going to take this tight brush from here from Marc Jacobs. I'm gonna go in this dark brown and I'm actually, mm, I might regret this, but I think I'm going to kind of outline so it really just like opens up the entire eye so it looks like the eye really is extending over there. This is almost like a 70s like disco Barbie. <laughs> now that the eye is extended so much outwards, I'm going to make my eyebrow match. So I'm going in with this dark brown right here from Makeup by Mario Palette. And I'm gonna extend this all the way out. Okay, we're just gonna make this look really pulled together is doing the rest of my face. So I am going to, again, kind of fluff away all this excess, clean it up, that's okay. Okay, we're not afraid of too much makeup here. So we are going to go in with a little more of my concealer. We're gonna clean this up all the way around my nose. And we're gonna clean up these. I'm gonna do some contour with Patrick Ta's a Bronzing Duo Palette. I'm gonna go with the cream bronzer. I'm gonna go up there. Go up there on my hairline. I'm gonna take the same cream contour and contour my nose. Okay. I'm gonna lightly dab it. I'm gonna take my blush from Charlotte Tilbury and Pink Asm, right? Yeah. And I wanna get all, uh, we are not afraid of blush for this look. Now we are going to take this translucent powder from Hourglass. I'm gonna go So to the pink asm, I'm going in with Rihanna Fenty Blush Duo in Kilowatts. And 
Put it there. Brianna, please put out more music. We need you. <laughs> and then to give it like extra, extra highlight, I'm going in with Color FX. So they're, they're glitter drops in Miracle. Mirage? In Mirage. I think it's Mirage. Okay, lips, I just don't know exactly what color I wanna do. How pink do I want to go? These would be more typical Barbie, but I think, you know what? I can always take it off and do it over again. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my, one of my favorite OG lip liners, which is Kat Von D's Everlasting Lip Liner in Lolita 10. Then I'm going to take Huda Beauty's lip gloss in Ritzy. And I'm gonna go a little bit in the middle. Do you like? All right, I'm going to take some bronzer from Patrick Ta. And I'm just gonna set the cream that I have there. I almost forgot. Okay, so I just added individual lashes to the bottom and it's giving me the look that I was trying to go for, which is super Barbie doll. I know there's a lot of steps here, but this is a Barbie doll. I'm gonna take a little bit of this white right here and just define the brow all the way out. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of the white right here too. Just to give a little more dimension. And so now looking at all this, I am going to add a little beauty mark. So. Before this, I curled my hair just like how you normally would. It took me two seconds. Each section, I'm gonna spray. Do I like this? Hair is not my specialty. So I'm gonna put on my outfit. I got the cutest little outfit that I pulled together with things I already had. So pause. <laughs> So I thought I was done. I'm taking a little, maybe pink right here. And I'm just gonna kind of extend this. Okay, that is the finished look. I really pulled that one out of nowhere. But yeah, this is like a really fun, like last minute costume in a way to me, at least. You can just go out to Sephora.com. They got free shipping and all that good stuff. All the products I use are legitimately like the best of the best. So I hope I showed you new products that you guys would love. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming, so stay tuned. Um, so yeah. Take care of yourselves and do that inner work. I will see you guys next week. Happy Halloween. Bye.